Oh man, oh man, oh man. Chat GPT-4 is coming and there's going to be some developers that lose their job. The question is, are you going to be one of those developers that you lose your job? And is there anything you can do to prevent you losing your job over chat GPT? Jack GPT-4. There's things, guys. We're going to cover three things in this video so that you can put yourself in a position so that you don't lose your job and you can sleep good at night knowing that you picked a career that you could do long term and then a computer is not going to actually take your job. It is possible. There's some things you can do and navigate to make sure you... Okay, let's start with the negative guys. And as code monkeys, yes, you will replace get replaced by ChatGPT. What's a code monkey? A code monkey is, hey, you write this code and that's what it needs to do. You just write in code, write in code, write in code. That's all you do. You get the requirements from the business, you write the code. You get the requirements from anybody else, you're patching, you're debugging, that's all you do. You will be replaced by ChatGPT, I'm telling you now. Machines are good at identifying code that may not necessarily work, that hasn't been tested, maybe syntax wrong, you're missing a, a comma or whatever that may be to why that programming, that code is not working, or you need to develop new code, the same um, coding code base that you copy and paste from the internet, you will be replaced, guys. I'm letting you know that now. You're not actually solving a problem. You're more like a commodity. You're more just there to get the job done. You're not necessarily um, adding value. You're adding value, but it's, it's repetitive task type of value. It's not unique to where a computer could do it in 2024. Those are the type of tasks that ChatGPT4 is going to chew up and take over. And if you find yourself doing most of your jobs doing that, you will be replaced. I'm letting you know that now. And there's nothing you can do. You can sit here and say, I can write the best code in the world, Rod. And you probably can, but that computer's gonna beat you at it. <laughs> and plus, let's just say, let's just, let's just, 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 for your ego purposes, let's just say you and ChatGPT are the same as far as just writing code. Which one's cheaper? which one's gonna actually come to work or stay at work and don't have to be paid or deal with human resources and can do 24 hours a day, seven days a week. That's my point. That's why you're gonna get replaced, guys. These are things that you need to know as a developer so you can navigate and make sure you're not in the crosshairs to get laid off or get replaced by ChatGPT, guys. And again, you gotta change that mindset because we there, there, there is a way where you can work alongside of the technology, ChatGPT, and still thrive as a developer and make as much money as you want and leverage it in a way to where you guys, it, you're leveraging this as a tool to actually be more productive instead of being replaced by it and put yourself in a position to win. <laughs> I can cover this from so many different angles, guys, but what I want to do is find out your individual experience first before we go into the um, how we can help you out. Comment below about your experience with ChatGPT. Have you looked at it? Have you researched it? Did it take your job? Did you get laid off? What are you afraid of? Comment below. Let's share your experiences so that we can start a conversation to put you on the right path to be able to leverage the technology and thrive as an aspiring or even an existing developer, guys. So let's comment below and start a conversation. Number two, actually solving problems, guys. A lot of you guys don't solve problems. Going back to the earlier point, you're just coding, Mike. You're just taking the business requirements, coding it, and say, hey, it's done. You're not necessarily looking at your code as a whole to actually see, okay, how is my code affecting the business? What problems is it solving? Is there things that I don't know that I can implement in my code so that I can improve it and make it even more effective and make the business thrive even more in the industry? Industry that we're in, those are the type of questions that's going to separate you from ChatGPT. As a computer, it's taking inputs and is looking at data, trending data, and structured data. 
guess what? There's a lot of unstructured data, stuff that's in people's heads, stuff that's in file cabinet, stuff that's sitting on a sticky note, stuff that's in meetings that um, people just don't realize that are opportunities for us to leverage as a business to win. You just got to identify that and solve that problem. That's the kind of stuff that a computer just can't do today. In any environment, probably going forward, computers, software operate in structured environments, table, data, trends, getting a consistent input. Yes, it got some variability to it, but in the world we live in, there's so much unstructured data out there that there are so many opportunities where we can work alongside of ChatGPT to structure more of the unstructured uh, data and information, but that's gonna take time. And we got a long time before we get to 100%. I can tell you that right now. That's where you're going to make your money at. That's where you're going to make a difference. That's where you're actually going to solve problems. You got to step away from the computer and look at it from a whole as your application. What's the impact of it? What is doing? How is it helping people? Is there other opportunities? Is there other companies? All that actually plays a role into how ChatGPT replace you guys. Get out of that structured environment and identify the problem children, the actual problems. And let, let's, let, let, before we go too much farther, not to say that there's no, uh, no additional work in the future for structured developers in a structured environment. I'm just saying that once a company start to leverage technology, ChatGPT is gonna come in and actually take those jobs. So you may be working at a company who just don't embrace technology at all. It can work years as a developer as you're doing now and be successful. I'm not saying you can't do that, but I'm saying that there's a potential threat out there that you need to be concerned with. And if you see that threat coming towards you, you know why you're being replaced. That's all I'm saying here. And there's a such thing as companies being bought out by competitors as well. You know the reason why they can buy y'all out? They got advantages, they got tools, they got Jack TPT giving them an advantage over you. And when they buy your company out, do a merger, whatever that may be, you will be replaced, I can guarantee you that. But again, guys, I, I can cover this in detail, but what I will do is I talk about this more in my seven step guide when it comes to finding jobs and identifying threats in step number three and four. So go ahead, links in the description box for that seven step guide to get you started and it's free. And um, if you ever, if you already signed up for the seven step guide, go check out my 30 day developer course. It's gonna help you guys take your skills to the next level and avoid being replaced by ChatGPT. Links below to all those goodies. Let's get you guys going. Last but not least guys, let's keep your skills up to date. I can't stress this enough. Keep your skills up to date, keep your skills up to date, keep your skills up to date. The quickest way to get replaced is you don't have your skills up to date. You're using legacy technology. The new technology is gonna come in, it's more efficient, it's more powerful, it can do more, um, it's more impactful. And if you put yourself in advantage using older stuff, it's no way you're gonna be able to keep your job. You know this, I know this, everybody else know this. It's just a matter of, if are you gonna be lazy? Are you just gonna continue to just say, hey Rod, I'm content with the programming language that I'm using, the way I do things, it's chat GPT replacing my job, I'm good with that. This video is not for you. If you in that camp, then you can go on because you're gonna get replaced. And as long as you're good, okay with that, you accept that, then go ahead. But for the people who want to keep their career long term and make sure you thrive, you have to keep your skills up to date. This is not something that you're dramatically doing every day. It's just one little thing, learning one little concept and build from there guys you guys already know my strategy when it comes to learning how to code i like to start small and expand solve a small problem for the business that you're comfortable with and then expand next thing you know you are a expert in the industry and you know how to identify problems solve communicate them and do everything you need to do to thrive as a software developer guys i can really get into this in detail but i'm not what I will do is make sure I position you guys for success and make sure we thrive as developers. And um, like I was telling you earlier, let's go ahead and um, get those skills up and those projects up. 
we talk about this in our step number two in our seven step guide go pick that up if you haven't already and also enroll in a 30-day course so if you haven't already like subscribe to the content if you have additional questions comment below i'll put a link to the seven step guide here on the screen i'll see you guys in the next video